Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to repair my Ishin E116 RC helicopter. After I crashed it, I broke the landing gear. Right here you can see it's all broken. And then I also broke the, uh, the servo arm. Okay, right here it's hard to see it, but right there I broke that. Okay, and I also damaged the, uh, the main gear, the teeth. Let me see if I can show you closely. Uh, I stripped the, the teeth, okay, on this main gear. So I'll be replacing that too. And I also broke the um, this piece right here where the canopy connects right there, that part right there. So I also broke that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to replace all that and take care of that. All right, so the first step is to remove the battery. Now, for safety reasons, I'll be removing these two main blades on the RC helicopter because once I replace the servo arm on the servo, I'll be testing it and I do not want this to spin and accidentally cut me. So it's a good idea to remove those two main blades. Now, the RC helicopter comes with this Allen wrench. So use this tool to remove these two screws. Now, carefully remove the blade and be careful because there's a small transparent washer right underneath this piece and it's right here just be careful don't drop it because it's going to be very hard to see it okay right there now remove these rubber pieces right here on the side two on each side to remove the canopy okay just pull it out okay it might be a little bit a little bit stuck Okay, well, this one, since it's broken, the whole thing came out. Okay, and then this one right there. And it's a little bit slippery because they're pointy. So make sure that you have a, uh, a good amount of space to work, uh, like a big table, just in case it falls. It falls on the table and not on the floor. Okay, right, just like that and remove the canopy. Now remove these wires from this hook right here and just move it to the side. Next, remove this small screw right here to remove the landing gear. All right, and right there. Okay, and if you, have a, uh, if you don't have a metal tray like this with a magnet on the bottom i recommend you get one because this holds the small screws safely without falling and loosen them now go ahead and remove the landing gear okay just pull it out and the same thing here on the front okay all right and just pull it out from here it's just it's just a tiny piece of uh glue right there Okay, just like that. Next, remove this small screw to remove the main gear. And this screw is pretty long. Okay, and when you get to like right there, half of it, then you will need to use your, your nail or something to help push it out at the same time that you're trying to unscrew it. Okay, so I'm pushing it with my nail okay right there and just be careful not to drop it okay see it's pretty long okay all right now you can go ahead and remove the the gear the main gear carefully so gently try to push it from the bottom very carefully evenly Okay, don't, don't uh, do it too hard because you don't want to bend something right there. Okay, now to get access to the servo horn and remove it, you need to remove the main motor. And for that, you need to remove these three screws right here. All right, and make sure that all the three screws, you put them together. That way you know that they belong to the motor. 
and now you can pull the motor out just be careful with the cable the wires okay and right there just be careful with the with the gears right here gently guide it okay and just pretty much move it to the side don't have to pull it all the way just like that move it to the side so you can get plenty of space to unscrew the servo horn now the next step is very important anytime you remove an old servo horn from a servo make sure that the new one goes in the same direction as the old one this will avoid you to have any problems with your rc and also you won't have to make any trim adjustments in your radio control so here's one way to make sure that the servo horn goes in the same position as the old one so what i'm gonna do is mark it i'm using a black sharpie marker and you can use any other color um, whatever is available uh, for you so the idea is to mark it so i'm marking it where the servo horn broke off so i'm gonna mark it okay make sure uh, i get it um, nice and painted right there where it broke off and because that's going to be my mark my mark that i'm gonna show you what i'm going to do with that mark so that's the idea just get it nice cover that area where it broke off okay so you can use that as your mark all right just like that and right here i'm going to try to make a tiny little mark like a little line okay right here it's kind of hard so but just like a straight line a tiny bit so i can see the the mark better Okay, just like that. Now for the next step, make sure your throttle hold is in the on position. Next, turn on your radio. Now connect your battery to the helicopter and let it bind to your radio control. All right, now using your radio control, you're going to move the throttle either up or down to adjust and align the mark that you made with the side of the servo. So let me show you closely. All right, so here on the side of the servo, you see right here that this part right here is round and on the other side is also round, but here in the middle is flat. So I'm going to use this flat area and align it with the mark that I did as close as possible because that's where the piece broke off. So that's the idea uh, behind this step is to align the missing, the piece that is broken that's where the servo horn is, the, that piece, right? So that piece align it with this flat area. Okay, so I'm going to use the throttle stick, okay, on the radio control, okay, to move it either up or down, okay, to bring it to, to that area. Okay, right there you can see, okay, I can move it. Okay, so I'm going to try to put it as close as possible to the center, okay? like imagining that I still have the piece there. So you just have to imagine that the piece is there and align it pretty much as close as possible. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Now make sure that you do not move the throttle stick. Now go ahead and remove the tiny screw right here. Okay, make sure that you do not move the servo horn. Okay, so I'm going to put my finger here just to hold it and not let it spin and gently try to remove it okay it does not require a lot of pressure so gently take it out and be careful because it's very small and don't worry about that beeping okay that beeping sound don't worry about it so here's the screw i'm going to use this small flathead screwdriver to gently pull it out okay gently just push it okay almost just gently take your time okay almost there almost right there okay all right now install the new servo horn 
and just take your time because it's just very tiny it's a tiny little hole right there okay and it goes right there and it's a little bit hard right now because uh, I have the uh, the camera in front of me so that makes it harder to install it right there okay and gently I'm gonna bring it over right here to the servo okay I'm going to use my other fingers okay and I'm going to move this down so I can uh, put it where it's supposed to go okay so same thing I'm aligning it to the flat piece right here on the side of the servo a little bit more okay and not too much and almost let's see okay and that looks pretty good all right so i'm gonna leave it right there here's a different view so you can see okay and if i turn it a little bit down you can see that the servo horn is a little bit to the left just a tiny bit okay and that's okay because on the other side it matches with this side because see this one since it's the opposite direction this one is a little bit to the right so right there you can see it just a tiny bit to the right so that is just perfect okay almost perfect um so right there you can see this one is just a little bit up so both of them they're just a tiny bit up on both sides okay so that looks pretty good okay so now i'm ready to put in the screw all right so now install the screw be very gentle okay and with your other finger hold the servo horn okay so it doesn't move okay and just be gentle make sure that it goes in straight okay and tight but not over tight okay right there all right so right now you can go ahead and test it okay right there you can see okay it functions really good now disconnect your battery and turn off your control now install the motor add a tiny bit of loctite to install the first screw just a tiny bit and install the first one Okay, and right now it's not really tight because I need to align the other holes and do the same thing for the other two screws. Okay, just a tiny bit. I think that was a little bit too much. Uh, and just remember where they go. Okay, the other one goes right here. And go ahead and tighten all of them up evenly. Alright. Now before you install the main gear, there's a couple things that you should know. The first hole that is closest to the flat area, right there you can see where I have the mark. There's this flat area right there. Okay, so that hole, the screw just goes straight in. Okay, let me show you. Right there you can see it just goes straight in and the same thing is for the shaft on the RC helicopter it just goes through and that's because the screw only screws in to the other side of the plastic the problem is that on the new gears the hole is too small so to make things easier it's a good idea to have a micro drill bit smaller than the screw to make the hole much bigger that way the screw can go through without any problems so here's the drill bit comparing it to the screw that way you can see that it has to be much smaller the drill bit compared to the screw so grab your main gear and gently drill that hole make that hole bigger on the other side just like that 
Now, after making the hole bigger, if the screw still doesn't want to screw in to the other side, then do not put your finger here on the back like you see right here and try to screw in the screw with your screwdriver. Because if you put a lot of pressure and it still doesn't want to go in, then the screwdriver can slip and accidentally poke your finger here or here. So not a good idea. So now let me show you a better way and a safer way. Now here's a piece of plastic foam that sometimes comes with the RCs and this works great for protecting the teeth on the gears, on any gear, because you just simply put it like this and then you can put pressure on the screw to screw it in to the other side. So simply put it on the foam and now you can safely put pressure on the screw to screw it in to the other side. Okay, just like that. And if you don't have a piece of foam, you can always use a couple of layers of uh, cardboard and that should work just fine. Now install the main gear, align the flat side to the flat side here on the shaft right here. And this piece goes like this. Okay, and just push it down, all the way down and make sure that it's aligned and you can see through the other side. Now install the screw. Not too tight. You do not want to strip the plastic. Okay, so just take it easy. All right, just like that. Now go ahead and test it. Very nice. Now I have installed a small piece of double-sided sticky tape, Tamiya brand, here where the glue was. Now normally it comes in a strip like this and then you just cut it to the size you want and that's going to keep the landing gear more secure. Now install the new landing gear. Install the small screw here in the middle. All right, just like that. Now this piece is the only piece that I'm not going to replace right now because at the time of the video, I haven't received this piece in the mail. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because right now it's not that bad. It's still gonna hold the canopy securely. So it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Now install the canopy. And finally, install the blades. Don't forget about the transparent washer. Install the screw. Now, do not over tighten the blades. Allow the blades to move freely just a little bit on both sides. Okay, and to just give you an idea of how tight I tighten the blades on this RC helicopter, I'm going to shake it, put it on the side and shake it. So you can see that they still move down, but they're not too loose. So now I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay. And I'm going to straighten the blade. Okay. And again, I'm going to shake it. Okay. So they still have that free play, but not too much. Okay. Now for safety reasons, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of Loctite here on the bottom where the screw is. Okay, just to keep that screw nice and secure. And the same thing on the other side. All right, so that's it for this video. If you like this type of videos, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, right there. All right, now, I'm going to, uh, I actually connected it wrong. Ah!